What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> is it the date? 12 May, Thursday. What year? No, what year is it? Easy to let go. You make your daddy proud. Away! <laughs> he thinks different. <laughs> Freddy got fingered. Freddy got fingered came out on April 20th, 2001, and today marks 20th anniversary. So does it hold up today? So I'll be talking about this ridiculous ass movie. The only reason I'm talking about this movie is because on the YouTube space, a bunch of people have talked about it, and I thought to see this film. I have spoilers on it, and I was like, I'm already spoiled on this film. I have to watch this film because it sounds ridiculous. It can't be true. And I watched it, and man, I don't know how to like. It's clearly not a good movie, but also didn't hate it. It's just like what's your ridiculous gag? 80 minute movie, roughly. And I think that's all it is. Tom Green directed a film with a bunch of random gags. I don't know. There's not really a narrative. Okay, there is, but it's really not important at all. Like Tom Green wants to be a animator. He gets rejected. He goes back to his normal life. By the end, he's like, you know what? I really want to be an animator. He tries it again. He gets his show, his animated short, and then he gets money. He's over a million dollars. He just sends it all away. Like that's essentially the whole plot and narrative. Anything after the beginning and before the ending, all the middle part, it's just a bunch of random gags. Like I don't know how I'm gonna talk about this because I don't know. I guess how many plots are there? There's Tom Green and his ridiculous shit. There's the whole hierarchy wanting to get the job. His son and there's Heron and then this girl. So I'll talk about I'll get the son nothing out of the way. Apparently, Tom Green said to his father to like police or something. Said that his father fingered his little son. He's a child molester. And I thought, is this what the movie name's about? Because Freddy Got Fingered hasn't come up at this point. A whole therapy session. He like smashes the statue stone or something like that. Because of that, the younger, his younger brother to institution, to like molestation institution. I like laughing like, what the fuck am I watching? The little bro keeps saying, my dad didn't finger me. What the hell are you guys talking about? And so it's like this ongoing joke of being like, did he or did he not? I don't think they answered that. Or at least I didn't get it. Like, I didn't catch it. They did resolve it. Then shit, I missed it because I just kept laughing at this gag. Oh, actually, you know what? Speaking of gags, I forgot the sixth thing I want to talk about. The little boy getting hurt. I think the only good thing. This little boy who like cherishes tom green's character for being like a ramp and stuff he thinks he's cool right and so the first time he gets hurt he like tries to run towards tom green's car he bumps into his bumper and he starts bleeding i was like oh that's hilarious and then the second time is when his father he's playing baseball with his father his father throws a baseball at his face he gets hurt that's hilarious and then the third and final time wait does he get shot he gets like airplane blood off like he goes to like a probably airplane and he gets like shredded up off screen he says i'm fine dad this is part of the best guy the best like occurring bit throughout the whole film because this kid is just like, getting hurt now, i'm not saying kids getting hurt is funny but what i am saying Seeing kids get hurt accidentally, that's fun, not purposefully. But that was the only funny bit throughout the whole film, being like, that made me genuinely laugh. Everything else was like a big WTF. The heck is this film all about? And then his parents are alright. There is this one uncomfortable ass scene of his father, seeing that he wants to get fucked in his ass. That's that. I'm not gonna go further than that. And then somewhere in like a hospital scene, Tom Green meets his girl. It's a girl that he will meet a few times in this film. And she's handicapped. And he decides to have, I guess, sex with her. And the way she enjoys it is him slapping the shit out of her leg. <laughs> Apparently she gets sexual joy from that. Don't know why this was a thing, but it happens twice in the film. First time it's kind of like, oh, okay. And it happens like, I think after like a dinner scene is what it is. I don't know what to say. Maybe that's what the title of this movie or video should be. Freddy got finger, 2001, 20 years later. I don't know what to say. She creates something. She creates rockets for her real church. She can go really fast. She gets well known on the news. And the last time they meet is on this helicopter thing. And then they like make up with each other and be like, hey, I'm sorry. And then yes, they get with each other. Or do they? Kind of zoned out and checked out by the point they were having this thing. When he was slapping the shit out of her legs. I was like, you know, I could be, you know, playing video games or something else but that i'm watching freddy got finger for years later you know that's what i'm doing in my life right now am i regretting it yep totally am but i don't know but either way that's the whole girlfriend stuff all that stuff is tom green he wants to be anime right so the first 10 ish minute he goes to like la hollow before he gets there there's a scene of this like horse thing where he wants to touch it and like he touches it and it's there for essentially no reason it's for a gag later on he comes back from hollywood when things don't work out the whole animated thought but he goes there and he looks at it again and then it never comes back hold on it does but not with horses but with animal blur again it feels like a bit it feels this whole movie feels like a joke parody in a bit i'm sexy i'm a sexy boy being like you know what this is dude, the most ridiculous shit it feels like a mix of jackass pretty film and tom green's inspiration of being like you know what just make the worst film ever on purpose like i don't know but he gets to hollywood right he like, works there for a bit as is this guy to look at his pictures because it's stupid and dumb and then he goes back to his parents house lives with his parents and throughout the film keeps saying that he's a grown ass man he's a 28 year old man he could do things but he's still living his parents back home in his hometown he this has built a ramp which is father bills he go to different jobs and he quit all of them and then there's a bunch of other guys that i'm getting about or i just brought out of my room 
work is too dumb. By the end, or all this middle stuff, he's like, you know what? I want to be an animator. Do all this normal shit. So he goes back to Hollywood again two times as the same person. Be like, hey, look at my drawing. And he gives it like a show. So there's a portion at the end of this movie where there's an animated part, and it just shows like, okay. Pace. This is cool. Animated, whatever. I don't like whatever story this is. It's an animated part. Cool. And then turns out he made a million dollars on that. And so what does he do with that million dollars? He spends it all right away. He spends it on what the hell does he spend it on? Oh, that's right. He spends it on a helicopter so he can meet his girlfriend on top of the rooftop. He spends it on property. And then the last chunk of money he spends it on taking a train out of his parents' house, being in a desert, and has his father chase him throughout the desert. They get captured. They have long hair. Oh god, what happens after that? Oh, I forgot the whole baby bit. In a hospital, he like delivers a baby and swings a shadow of it. One, that's awful, but two also kind of hilarious but either way it ends with him clutching a stick of an elephant which is huge by the way and sprays its white or clear liquid kind of either way sprays it on his father they both get killed or somehow or the elephant kicks him and then they have a moment although like, why are they having a moment being like proud of you son or something like that i don't know how the movie ends hold on i don't know how does this movie end oh shaq needs a cameo in this film shaq is just randomly in the film be like in a commercial i think they have like long hair and beard they get back to the u.s and then the, it ends with the whole boy bit yeah it ends with the boy saying i'm okay dad the whole airplane killing boy stuff and then that's how the movie ends and i thought myself in my head what the hell did I just watch? Why did I want to see it? Oh, I did. I know why. It's just a movie that has ridiculous gags and shit in it. That's all it is. I don't actually find that funny except for that one bit. But do I hate this film? No. I don't know if it's just the same level as like The Room or Jason X. Like so bad movies that are good. I don't think this is that. I do think it's just a bad film with random gags in it that some people may find funny. Who knows? I did find a few of them funny. And yeah, that's what Freddy Got Finger is. So Freddy Got Finger, 20 years later, bad in a big W2F movie. But that's all I gotta say. So that's it for me. This has been The Road So Far. And thank you for watching.